Any plans for Friday night? You can party. I know how to throw one hell of a party. We got a party now. I'm ready to party. Okay, party people. Start the party. Let's party. Really got to get all dolled up for a party. Party, party, party. 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 Enjoy your last look at my ass because I'm going to party it off. Everybody knows it's party time. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Actress Emmy Rossum is saying goodbye to Shameless. Rossum, who has played Fiona Gallagher on the Showtime comedy since it began, announced her exit in a lengthy Facebook post. She wrote, This business is always an adventure, full of travel and opportunities to tell stories. Usually, as an actor, every few months, you get to travel to a new place, start a new project, build a new character, learn new rhythms, new inside jokes with your crew, and make new friends. That's the polite statement. The real statement is she quit over pay inequity. Shame on you, producers. Former Vice President Joe Biden did a great job with his eulogy to Senator John McCain yesterday. My name's Joe Biden. (laughs) I'm a Democrat. (laughs) And I love John McCain. I always thought of John as a brother. We had a hell of a lot of family fights. We go back a long way. We talk about family. We talk about politics. We talk about international relations. We talk about promise, the promise of America, because we're both cockeyed optimists and really believe that there's not a single thing beyond the capacity of this country. I mean, for real, not a single thing. As a young man, he came up to my house. He'd come up to, to Wilmington. And uh, out of this grew a great friendship that transcended whatever political differences we had or later developed. Because above all, above all, um, we understood the same thing. All politics is personal. It's all about trust. I trusted John with my life, and I would, and I think he would trust me with his. So to Cindy and to the kids, Doug, Andy, Sydney, Megan, Jack, Jimmy, Bridget, and I know she's not here, but to Mrs. McCain, we know how difficult it is to bury a child, Mrs. McCain. My heart goes out to you. And I know right now the pain you all are feeling is uh, so sharp and so hollowing. And John's absence is all-consuming for all of you right now. It's like being sucked into a black hole inside your chest. But I know something else, unfortunately, from experience, that there's nothing anyone can say or do to ease the pain right now. But I pray, I pray you take some comfort knowing that because you shared John with all of us your whole life, the world now shares with you the ache of John's death. John was a hero. His character, courage, honor, integrity. But I think the thing is understated the most is his optimism made John a giant among all of us. Now John's going to take his rightful place in a long line of extraordinary leaders in this nation's history who in their time and in their way stood for freedom and stood for liberty and have made the American story the most improbable and the most hopeful and the most enduring story on earth. I know John said he hoped he played a small part in that story. John, he did much more than that, my friend. To paraphrase Shakespeare, we shall not see his like again. Monday is Labor Day. Here's Chris Rock. But I'll tell you this right now. Now now I have a career. I have been blessed with a career. So if you got a career, thank God. If you got a job, I hope you get a career one day. That's right. Because when you got a career, there ain't enough time in the day. There ain't enough time. When you got a career, you look at your watch, time just flies like, whoa, it's 535. Damn, I got to come in early tomorrow and work on my project. Because there ain't enough time when you got a career. When you got a job, there's too much time. That's right, you look at your watch like 908. 
You don't even trust the time when you got a job. Too. You're like, what time you got? 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 got? Uh, 9.15? Whoever got the latest time is the right time. He got the right time. He got the right time. Politicians of all backgrounds, except fake President Donald Trump, have had some nice things to say about the late Senator John McCain. Sarah Palin praised him as the Queen of Soul. Just a thought, but if Trump were smart, like he claims, he'd spend all of his time on prison reform before he gets arrested. Meanwhile, Trump tweeted he's furious at Google. Yeah, it's official, folks. Donald Trump has run out of people to have Twitter feuds with. The U.S. has extended its travel ban against Americans going Going to North Korea, boy, I sure hope that doesn't disrupt your plans for Christmas. A study claims no amount of alcohol is good for you. This study was conducted by people who've never had a drink after a 5 p.m. writing deadline with nothing written at 4.30 p.m. You judgmental snotty bastards. Sorry, that one got away from me. KFC is offering $11,000 to the first newborn named Harland. You know, if you're willing to humiliate your baby for a few bucks over chicken, why not go all the way and wait for a similar reward when it's offered by the people at Popeyes. Police in Spain seized 147 pounds of cocaine smuggled inside hollowed out pineapples. Investigators believe it's the work of an international crime cartel operating from a remote island and run by a shadowy figure known as Gilligan. A monkey ransacked a convenience store in China, destroying $4,000 worth of merchandise. The owner said the monkey became upset after he found out that none of his lottery tickets had won. Still with monkeys for a second, a primate stolen from an exhibit in Sweden showed up hours later at a McDonald's. Customers said the monkey was very polite, so immediately they knew he didn't work there. Brad Pitt is facing a lawsuit over the houses he built in New Orleans. Between his divorce and this new lawsuit, somebody might have to build a house for Brad. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. An Asheville, North Carolina woman found a bear relaxing and swinging in her backyard hammock. She has no idea how he got the mint julep. Hey, North Carolina, nobody gives a f***. Fashion Week in London will feature the world's first robot fashion model. It's just like a regular model, except it eats more and is more compassionate. Hey, supermodels, nobody gives a f***. And Kanye West apologized for saying slavery was a choice. That brings the list of things Kanye has to apologize for down to 37,095. Hey, idiot. Nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.